All right, last question. We only have a few seconds. Is Herman Cain the flavor of the month, as Governor Palin called him? Not, not to criticize him, but, but, but do these debates result in somebody up and somebody down, and is it always going to change at the end of each debate? Well, it has that potential because somebody has a chance to either do very well or very poorly. But you know what? I think that was a nasty comment coming from her. Flavor, you know, wrong. Herman Cain, when I talk to people, to Republicans, I was down in Florida this week. They say, you know what? His policies make sense. They're coherent. I can understand them. He has conviction. He's a real conservative. And they like him, Judge. You can't under, right. undervalue in, the in fact that you're a politician to, who's popular. Okay. In fairness to Governor Palin. <laughs> I don't know who said she said it, but she says she didn't. She, oh, she okay. says she didn't, didn't use that phrase. So okay. what I meant to ask you was, do these things change with each debate? And I think you answered that they do. Well, yeah, it's they always do. a pleasure. Well, it has the potential to change. And you can see it in terms of Rick Perry's fate. Or even, you know, people say Mitt Romney's pretty steady. I think the telling thing there is he never gets up there beyond like that 22, 23 percent. And that's a All bad right. sign. Got yeah. it. Juan Williams, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Speaking now from Wasilla, Alaska. Governor Palin, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Hey, thank you so much, Judge. Be nice before to we get into, to get to speak be with you. Thank you. Before we get into your views on the candidates and uh, and your views on the issues and your views on the presidency uh, of President uh, Obama, a lot of people are waiting for the month of September to be over because they're sort of expecting some kind of announcement, up, down, in, out, yes, no. Is something going to come from Wasilla, Alaska in the next 24 or 48 hours that might uh, sate the appetite of the political class? You know, I, I hold my political cards close to my chest. I've certainly learned lessons uh, along those lines, and I'm going to continue to do that until I'm ready to make an announcement. This is a, a serious decision, and I'm engaged in serious deliberations. And um, within the next 24 hours, don't, um, don't look for me to make a decision. But hey, before we get into all those other topics, let me ask you about what was that shot that Juan Williams just took at me saying I made a nasty comment about Herman Cain. Uh, what was that all about? Actually, it wasn't Juan Williams. It was I who was quoting media who are saying that you made the comment but but please correct what what the what the record established did you say the but Republicans seem to Williams. have did you say the Republicans seem to have a flavor of the month without referring specifically to Herman Cain but it was Juan Williams who said he thought it was a nasty comment that yes, I made. I yes, think it's nasty yes. when, uh, you know, when a colleague takes a shot when they don't know what they're talking about. No, I said that what the media tends to do is kind of gin up controversy and propel this flavor of the week. And I'm not saying that Herman Cain is the flavor of the week. I'm one of his biggest fans, and right. I would never dismiss him or, um, or speak negatively about him. I'm saying that in this fast-moving 24-7 news cycle that, that is our world, today that the media does have to kind of gin up some controversy and intrigue so that viewers tune in and there's a lot of competition in the media world and um, it, you know in this uh, quasi reality show it seems that's being created in the GOP primary it's just um, kind of the nature of the beast right now and I, I think anybody would be hard-pressed to argue against what I observe and that is that yeah you know Rick Perry he's propelled out there by the media as right. the flavor of the week and then he's kind of shot down. Well, some perhaps they want to do that to Herman Cain, or they'll do that to, um, say, Mr. Johnson or um, uh, Michelle Bachman a few weeks ago. And then it, that person kind of finds themselves back to where the, the pollsters right, well, and, the, and the voters let me are, ask you this, are Governor placing Palin. them. So it, it has a lot to do with the media. And are I didn't the, say that it's the GOP that propels them as the are, flavor are these, of the Are week. these debates?